In the United States, the production of the Honda CRV model equipped with a plug-in hydrogen fuel cell powertrain is about to begin for the 224 variant 2024. We bet you must be excited about this one. In the overnight hours, Honda made an announcement in which it stated that the new FC EV will be built on the all-new Honda CRV. Let's unveil all the information right here at Tech Addicts, your only space for authentic details. We'll get started as the road will never be the same. Honda announced that it would begin producing an all-new hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, or FCEV, starting in 2024 at its Performance Manufacturing Center in Marysville, Ohio. The FCEV will be based on the all-new Honda CRV that was just released. The brand new car with zero emissions will help Honda reach its objective, which was previously disclosed, of making battery electric vehicles and fuel cell electric vehicles represent 100% of its global auto sales by the year 2040. The new hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle based on the Honda CRV will also be the first production vehicle in North America to combine a plug-in feature with the FCEV technology in a single model. This will allow the driver to charge the onboard battery to deliver an electric vehicle driving around town while also providing the flexibility of quick hydrogen refueling for longer trips. Gary Robinson, Vice President of Auto Planning and Strategy for American Honda Motor Company, Inc., stated that Honda established our goal to realize carbon neutrality by 2050 and the complete electrification of our vehicle lineup by 2040 is critical to achieving it. As we move forward with our plan to manufacture Honda batteries electric vehicles in the United States, we will also begin low volume production of fuel cell electric vehicles in that country. This will allow us to further investigate these vehicles' tremendous potential as a component of a more environmentally friendly transportation future. The PMC was initially envisioned as a low volume specialized manufacturing plant that would place emphasis on handiwork and automobiles that were put together by hand. Since it opened its doors in 2016, the Performance Manufacturing Center, or PMC, has been in charge of creating the Acura NSX Supercar, several Acura PMC edition automobiles, including the TLX, RDX, and MDX, and Honda Performance Development race cars. Because of this, the PMC is ideally suited for producing high-quality FCEVs, which call for specific assembly processes to be followed. This strategy is reminiscent of the extensive part that Honda's facility in Tochigi, Japan played in the production of the first NSX supercar, which went into production in 1989, and the Honda FCX Clarity FCEV, which was released in 2008. According to Gail May, who is in charge of operations at the PMC plant, our employees at the Performance Manufacturing Center have truly relished the opportunity to successfully introduce multiple specialty vehicles into the market. Because of our small volume capability, our facility is ideal for the production of a new Honda fuel cell electric vehicle. This enables us to use the skill and expertise of our team to produce superior zero-emission vehicles here in North America. The Honda CR-V has been the most popular compact SUV sold in the United States over the course of the last quarter century. This makes it an excellent foundation for a fuel cell electric vehicle which will add zero emissions and EV performance characteristics to the fun-to-drive personality, sporty styling, and outstanding utility of the current model while maintaining generous passenger and cargo space. The all-new CRV establishes a new standard by having an outer appearance that is both rugged and refined, an interior design that's both sporty and modern, and more significant space, comfort, and performance. The sixth generation of the CRV is already playing an important part in Honda's strategy for electrification. CRV hybrid electric versions are positioned at the top of the lineup, and it is anticipated that they will account for approximately 50% of annual CRV sales. However, the company said that the new model would add zero emissions and EV driving performance to America's best selling CUV of the past quarter century. Because Honda does not provide any information regarding the drivetrain of the CRV FCEV, 
we cannot determine its overall range, power, or torque. The majority of the company's powertrain will likely derive from the fuel cell drivetrain technology that they are jointly developing with GM as part of their cooperation. However, we know that the new Honda CRV FCEV will be a plug-in model. This indicates that it will be equipped with a battery pack that is sufficiently large and will be able to be recharged either at home by connecting it to the main electricity or at public charging stations. If a plug-in hybrid gasoline vehicle is any indication, the CRV-based FC EV should be able to drive approximately 50 kilometers only on the electricity provided by its battery pack. Previous models of Honda's fuel cell vehicles, such as the first two generations of the Clarity FC EV, were equipped with only a modest high-voltage battery pack. This pack's primary function was to store the energy that was created by the vehicle's regenerative braking system. The front wheels of the second-generation Clarity FC EV were driven by an electric motor with 130 kilowatts of power. It was projected that it had a driving range of 580 kilometers when all its compressed hydrogen tanks were completely full. In the United States, the Clarity FC EV was only available for lease, and even then only in a few states, most notably California, which is where the majority of the country's hydrogen filling stations that are open to the public are situated. Lessees also received a fuel card with a maximum value of $15,000 towards the conclusion of the product's life cycle. The new CRV fuel cell electric vehicle will be assembled in Honda's Performance Manufacturing Center in Marysville, Ohio. This is a facility that, in essence, makes automobiles by hand in a limited number each year. The hybrid second-generation Honda NSX, which was marketed under the Acura NSX brand name in North America, is the company's most well-known vehicle. At this time, production of the limited-edition Acura TLX PMC edition is being carried out. This leads one to believe that, much like Honda's past fuel cell vehicles, the CRV FC EV will not be a model that sells in high volumes. And to this day, all fuel cell Hondas have been assembled in Japan, and it is currently unknown whether or not the CRV FC EV that will be assembled in Ohio will be marketed only in North America or will be exported to other parts of the world. Honda has claimed in the past that it anticipates all of its sales across the globe to be fuel cell vehicles or pure electric vehicles by the year 2040. The sixth generation of the CRV was introduced in July, but the introduction of the vehicle in local markets is still more than a year away. Hydrogen fuel cells still only make up a small portion of the market share for electric vehicles due to the fact that they require specialized infrastructure, but Honda is not going to let this fact deter it from achieving its goals. The automaker claims to give the market a bit of a jolt in 2024 by releasing a new fuel cell vehicle based on a highly successful automobile. It will have some distinctive features that may assist it in gaining momentum with buyers. The Commitment of Honda to Preserving the Environment To demonstrate its dedication to tackling environmental and energy concerns on a worldwide scale, Honda has set a goal of achieving carbon neutrality across the board for all of its operations and products by the year 2050. According to the most recent data provided by the United States Environmental Protection Agency, Honda possesses the greatest fleet average fuel efficiency and the lowest CO2 emissions of any full-time car maker in the United States. To cut CO2 emissions even further, Honda plans to work toward the goal of making battery electric and fuel cell electric vehicles account for 100% of auto sales in the United States and around the world by the year 2040. As stated, performance first! And that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel.